When Eva was little, um, Jenna used to tease me that uh, Eva would probably never be able to bring boyfriends home because I'd be chasing them away all the time because she was a little bit of a daddy's girl, at least from my perspective. And uh, she, thank God she picked Max because I've never felt the urge to chase Max away. He, he was always welcome in my house. He's just, like I said, he's just been a fantastic young man to have around. And Max, thank you for agreeing to be my son-in-law. Very much appreciate it. Randy and Karen, you couldn't have done better with Max. He's a fantastic guy, super sweet. Just a lot of fun to be around. And uh, I, I love you, Max. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to <laughs> toast Eva and Max, of course, many, many happy years of wedded bliss. Love you guys. What was your first impression of Max or Eva? And here is Max's response. My first impression of Eva was in my interview at Prairie Care. She was smart, strong, and a compassionate woman. It struck me right away how much empathy she showed for the kids she worked with. The first things I noticed about Max in his interview were good eye contact, a firm handshake, perceptive questions, and a sense of humor. He won us all over. How did you know you loved Max or Eva? And here's Max's response. I knew I loved Eva actually within a month of dating. I fell in love with her humor, her empathy, and the way she had shown me love. I knew from the moment she did the cat daddy dance that I wanted to be with her. <laughs> and here is Eva's response. Seeing him with the little kids we worked with, he was so good with them. What do you love most about Max or Eva? And here is Max's response. I love Eva's compassion not only for her work, but for our relationship. I love her silliness and humor. She is my best friend, and I love that we can tell each other anything. And here is Eva's response. I love that Max is silly, caring, sweet, supportive, and so patient with me. My love formerly known as Max. I promise to always hold you in my heart. My intentions are to commit to you forever, love you unconditionally, seek to understand, respect you, listen to you, treat you as a teammate and partner, forgive, express clear expectations and boundaries, apologize, take accountability, work through conflicts, support you, consider you and your feelings and needs, grow together, and laugh and play with you a whole lot. I promise to try my very best at these intentions and ask your support as my partner. I will be a friend, teammate, partner, supporter, and of course, your love. Eva, or as I call you, my love. <laughs> Words cannot describe how much I love you. I never thought I would meet someone like you, and from the moment we met, I knew there was something about you. I honestly never thought I would be alive to meet my person, and I'm so glad I didn't die before I met you. In the last three years, we've been through many great moments and many struggles. Through all these moments, I feel like we've grown closer. I'm continually amazed by your heart, your empathy, and how you make me smile even in the hardest of times. You make me a better man. 
You have shown me love I never knew was possible, and you are the only person that I've let know the real me. Eva, as your husband, I know I have to promise you bunches of stuffs. You've made this clear for over a year. I want to promise you that I, no matter how difficult life might be, that I will always stick by your side. I want to promise you that I will do my best, my best, day in and day out, to communicate openly and voice my feelings, even when I hate it, which is always. I want to protect you from harm and be your shoulder to cry on when things are too much, and we both know that that can happen a lot. I promise to be your hype man, your teammate. I promise to fight for you and us. I want to wake up with you every morning and continue to grow even older than you, even older with you than we already are, which is really old. <laughs> You're my best friend, my person. I'll love you forever. Under the power of the law vested in me by the sovereign state of Minnesota, I now declare that you are husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. It's my pleasure to introduce Eva and Max, now happily married. 